More than 40 years ago, an Oregon man asked the FBI to test some hair. Hair he believed to be from Bigfoot. He never heard back. That is until now. Let's get right to Fox 12's Haley Rush with this story. I know you're all wondering, so I'll get to the answer right away. No, the hair wasn't from Bigfoot, but a deer, according to the FBI. But that still hasn't stopped the 93-year-old man who convinced them to test it decades ago from searching and hoping for his own Bigfoot sighting. This is the latest. Peter Burns' beliefs. Lots more pictures, that kind of thing. Are proudly on display inside his Pacific City cabin. Big, hair-covered, huge shoulders, walking with a very smooth stride. In what a fitting place for the 93-year-old to retire. Close to the woods and where he says Bigfoot spotting still happen. No, I've not seen one, no. In the late 50s, Burns set out in the Himalayas to find the Yeti. He eventually got hired by a research institute in Texas to search for the American Yeti. We left. We didn't believe in it at all. The first thing we looked at was maps, and we found, uh, to our amazement, that the Pacific Northwest, Northern California to Alaska, is three times the size of the Himalaya. So we thought this is a possibility. So in 1960, his first Bigfoot research project began in Northern California. We followed up in Leeds as we found them. We'd hear of a sighting. We'd go and see the person. Then in the 1990s, another project launched, this one in the Hood River Valley. Some of the sightings were extraordinary. Uh, lots of similarities of description. Over the years, Burns says he found five sets of footprints himself and hair caught on a thorn brush. So I kept that for a while, and then I thought, what are you going to do? Who's going to examine it? In those days, there's no DNA. So I called the FBI and said, would you, would you examine this for me? And they said yes. Recently, the FBI made 22 documents public, showing it did open an investigation into Bigfoot in the 1970s. The Bigfoot files shared testing results of Burns' hair sample. And the results were that they are pretty positive it's deer hair. That's all, after all these years. That may be all for the FBI. But for this researcher, author, or... Bigfoot hunter, if you like. His search for Sasquatch is far from over. It's not silly because the people I've interviewed, thoroughly reliable, down-to-earth people, deputy sheriffs, state policemen, Oregon, Oregon court judge. Yeah, I'd love to see one. I believe there's a few left. Byrne has retired from heading up Bigfoot research projects. He now calls himself a hobbyist. He and a small group in the Pacific City area have put five cameras out in the woods where he says there have been credible sightings in the past. So far, he's only seen hikers, bears, and deer on the cameras. In studio, Haley Rush, Fox 12 Oregon.